Chief Executive Officer of Global Initiative, Mr. Tony Kolei, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to all of us. First of all, I would like to thank the organizer Global Initiative for having this important forum in, in Jakarta. Bringing together key stakeholders, including government ministers from across the region, industry leaders, NGOs, and smallholders, is very crucial for us to develop workable solutions for the planet on which we live and breathe together. This is in line with the World Economic Forum vision and mission. Through the new vision of agriculture, food security, economic opportunity, and environmental sustainability must go hand in hand at the same time. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> Indonesia is very blessed with fertile, rich soil and bountiful natural resources with 17,000 islands spread along the equator with a population of 250 million, 40 million of whom earn their living in the agriculture industry, which has the potential to meet the world growing demand of food. Last year, this region experienced the impact of the El Nino extreme weather phenomena, which affect the lives of over 80 million people in Indonesia and neighboring countries. Addressing concerns as such, climate change, sustainability, and food security have become increasingly urgent. To be successful, we must work together to address these challenges. The Partnership for Indonesia Sustainable Agriculture, PISAGRO, which the ministers just, just now has been emphasizing, was formed in 2012, which Pak Bayu is the uh, minister Vice Minister at that time, which orchestrated this, uh, certainly supported by the Indonesian government and endorsed by the Coordinating Minister of Economic Affairs, followed by the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Trade, as well as the World Economic Forum. It has 12 working groups, including rice, soybean, corn, palm oil, cocoa, potato, dairy, coffee, rubber, rubber horticulture, beef and agri-finance. The vision is to achieve a target of 20% increase in productivity, 20% increase in farmers' income, and 20% decrease in greenhouse emission. After three years of on-the-ground implementation involving stakeholders at Cardin and Pisagro, working with the smallholder farmers to intensify their efforts, we are now seeing a productivity increase between 12 to 71 percent, and income increase between 15 to 80 percent. As you may have known, palm oil covers only 6 percent of the world's vegetable oil planted area, but supplies 33 percent of the global vegetable oil needs. Through Indonesia, though Indonesia is already the world number one producer of palm oil, we still have the opportunity to assist around 1 million independent farmers, independent smallholders whose yield is still low, as they do not have access to high-yield high seedling, we, have, we can share our experience as well as the discipline in implementing good agriculture practice. The Palm Oil Working Group at Pisa Agro initiated the replanting program through Farmers Cooperative by providing certified seed, fertilizers, guidance, fertilizers, guide, guidance for implementing good agriculture practice, as well as, uh, as, well as, as introducing a financing scheme, which includes the cost of living during planting until maturity. We call this scheme innovative financing. With this scheme, the smallholders farmers are able to double or triple their yield and raise their income level at the same time, promoting more responsible and sustainable plant plantation management. Pisa Agro will roll out this replanting program together with Cardin and ISE. ISE is the Indonesian Economic Association. On 23rd of May 2016, we welcome all of you to participate in this event. <coughs> Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned by FAO, the world population will 
will be around 9.6 billion in 2050. The question is, the question to all of us is, how will we cater for the explosive demand of food at the same time mitigate climate change? For better use of precious agriculture land, it would be ideal if each country can focus on its strength and prioritize the comparative crop advantages, which can produce the highest yield to address potential food demand. I sincerely hope this forum will serve as an excellent platform for us together to share our ex 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 expertise and experience. Together, we can develop practical solutions and transform our respective sectors to make, to make it more sustainable and resilient. I thank you.